Hi guys! Good day! It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about geometric means. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So our next part, the next part of our video class is still geometric means. But this is quite tricky since our given samples are fractions. Example number 1, 3 over 8 and 27 over 2. And we are told to insert 3 geometric means in this given samples. Number 2, 108 and 1 half and we're going to insert 3 geometric means three terms in this given first term and last term same with number three we are going to insert three three terms between 27 and 16 over 3 so this is quite tricky if we're dealing with fractions but do not be worried we will be answering this one and i will just put the link on the description down below on how to answer this one if the given samples are fractions all right let's deal first with the basic so number one find the geometric mean between 2 and 32 so you are just told to find one number between 2 and 32. So we can write this one as 2. Then we're told to find this middle number and then 32. So if you have given sample class like this, you, you have given two numbers and then you are just told to find one number between 2 and 32. That's very easy class. Our formula is the square root of A times B. So our A is number 2, the first term. Our B will be the last term. So the square root of 2 times 32. So 2 times 32 or A times B. So 2 times 32, that would be 64. And get the square root of 64. So you think of a number that when you multiply it by itself, same number, you will get 64. Of course, that would be 8. So our answer class is 8 for number 1. Very easy, right? So this is the thing that you will do. If you are just told to find the middle number of two terms, okay, middle number of two num of two given samples, just simply multiply the number and then get the square root. That would be your answer. So to get the common ratio, just divide the second term by the first term. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 32 divided by 8 is 4. Second, third term divided by the second term, which is 4. So, we check 2 times 4 is 8, 8 times 4 is 32. So, therefore, the answer is 8 for number 1. So, this is 8 for number 1. So, I will just put 8 for number 1. That's easy, class, if you're just told to find the middle number of these two terms. So, let's try number 2. Let's try complicated one. Alright, so let's try complicated one. Let's try number 2. Insert four terms between 2 and 64 of a geometric mean. So let's write that one. So this is 2. Then we're going to insert 4 terms. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And then the last number is 64. Alright, so we are going to insert 4 terms. So the thing that we will do plus, if you have example like this, is you need to get the common ratio. This is very important plus. The thing that you need to get is the common ratio for you to answer this one. Once you get the common ratio, you can multiply it by 2 and then multiply it by the common ratio and then you will get this answer. So to get the common ratio, we will be using the formula. The formula of geometric sequence, that would be a sub n equals the first term multiplied by r, then raised to the power of n minus 1. So a sub n plus is the last term. So the last term is 64. So we have 64, substitute the value of a sub n, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, a sub 6, or the last term is 64, equals the first term is 2, and we don't have the common ratio, that's why we need to find it so that we can answer this one, times the common ratio, which is r. Our n plus, since we insert 4 terms, and we already have given 2 terms, so our n, the number of terms, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that would be 6 minus 1. So this will be 64 equals 2 times r, then 6 minus 1 is 5. So once again, to get the value of r, since we have 2 here, we need to divide it by 2 to cancel it out. So we need to divide it by 2 to make, to cancel this 2, to eliminate 2. So divide it by 2. Divide this by 2, so you can now cancel 2. 64 divided by 2, that's 32, equals r raised to the power of 5. So to get the value of r, you extract 5th root. K 
okay fifth root so that we can cancel this out so extract fifth root so extract fifth root of r raised to the power of 5 so that you can cancel this out and then fifth root of 32 so the fifth root of 32 class you can actually write that in a calculator that would be shift then this x squared all right shift and this x squared x raised to the power of this box here so we can write 5 5 then 32 so the answer is 2 but if the teacher will not allow you to use calculator this is the thing that you will do class so once again r raised to the power of 5 equals 32 you extract fifth root both sides so that we can cancel this 5 and the remaining will be r so that we can cancel this, this exponent and the remaining will be r so if the teacher will not allow you to use calculator this will be the case that you will do you think of a number that when you multiply it five times you will get 32 okay you think of a number that when you multiply it by itself five times you will get 32 of course if we check 3 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27 and then we try multiply again another 3 27 times 3 this is 81 this is already beyond 32 so we we need to use smaller than 3 so that's the thing that you will do class if the teacher will not allow you to use calculator you try it this way you find a number that you multiply it five times you will get 32 so we will try two because three class is already beyond 32 how much more in four so we try two two times two is four times two is eight so two times two is four we have two two times four times two is eight so one two three let's have another two times two 8 times 2, this will be 16, times 2, two times uh, 16 times 2, that is 32. So 2 times 2 is 4, this is 4, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, 16 times 2 is 32. Therefore, the number is, 30, is 2. 2 raised to the power of 5 is equal to 32. So therefore, the fifth root of 32 is 2. So what number that when you multiply it five times, you will get 32? That is 2. And then copy R. Alright, so this will be your common ratio. Now once you get the common ratio, so you can put your common ratio here. Your common ratio is 2. So we have 2 and then 2, 2. And then we can just simply multiply. So 2 times 2, this will be 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 times 2 is 32 and 32 times 2 you get 64 so even if we check this one by getting the common ratio do not forget to get the common ratio simply divide the second term by the first term third term by the second term fourth term by the third term so that particular term divided by the previous term so 4 divided by 2 that is 2 8 divided by 4 that is 2 16 divided by 8 is 2 so therefore the answer is correct so once you get the common ratio you can just simply multiply in geometric in geometric sequence class we will be using multiplication and division all right so that's the answer class let's try number three and you will be the one who will answer number four class all right let's try number three so insert four geometric means between eight and one fourth so we have fraction now so we have given sample which is fraction so we have this is four so i just erased the answer for number two class i hope you see that one you can pause the video a while ago for the answer of number two so we have four then we will go into insert four geometric means one two three and then four and then copy eight uh, sorry the between eight so this one will be eight First term will be 8. Insert 4 geometric means between 8 and the last term is 1 fourth. Alright, so use the formula a sub n equals the first term times the common ratio, then n minus 1. So the last term is 1 fourth. So 1 fourth equals the first term is 8. So we have 8 times the common ratio. We don't have the common ratio, that's why we need to get this one. So that we can find these numbers for geometric means. Then n, the number of terms, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have 6 terms. 
We already have given two terms and we're going to insert four, four terms. So 6 minus 1. So this will be 1 fourth equals 8 times R. Then 6 minus 1 is 5. So to get the value of R, divide both sides by 8 so that we can eliminate this 8 first. Divide by 8, divide by 8. So you can cancel this out. Alright, so this will be 1 fourth. This will be 1 fourth divided by 8. So 1 fourth divided by 8. So we will put denominator of 1 for 8. So 8 is the same with 8 over 1. So 1 fourth divided by 8. So according to the rules of fraction, if you divide fractions, you get the reciprocal of the divisor, then you proceed to multiplication. Okay, so this will be 1 fourth times, instead of division, you proceed to multiplication, and then you get the reciprocal. Instead of 8 over 1, it will be 1 over 8. And then you multiply. So 1 times 1 is 1, 4 times 8 is 32. Alright, so 1 fourth divided by 8 is 1 over 32. So let me erase this one. You pause the video class. Alright, so this will be 1 over 32 equals r raised to the power of 5. And now we need to eliminate this exponent 5. So we need to extract fifth root both sides of the equation, left and right, so that we can cancel this 5. And our r is equal to, so what will be the fifth root of 1? So you think of a number that when you multiply it 5 times, you will get 1. Of course, the fifth root of 1 is 1, right? Because 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1, even if you multiply 1 5 times, you will get 1. Okay, the fifth root of 1 is 1. And the fifth root of 32, we answered that a while ago in number 2. So the fifth root of 32, that would be 2. You think of a number that when you multiply it 5 times, you will get 32. Of course, that would be 2. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32. So we have 5 2s. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2. So our ratio, the common ratio is 1 half. Alright, so this will be our common ratio. So we can put the common ratio here, 1 half. This is 1 half, 1 half, and 1 half. This will be 1 half. So let's check. Okay, let's check. Let's we pause the video. This is the common ratio. One half. So this will be eight times one half. So this will be eight times one. Eight times one half. This will be. We can divide this one. Or if you're confused with this one class, you can actually multiply. Put denominator of one. Eight times one is eight. One times two is two. Eight divided by two is four. Or in in other way, you can actually. Simplify, we can divide 8 by 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4. This will be 1. So 4 times 1 is 4. Then divide by 1 is still 4. So this, this next number will, will be 4. So let's try to multiply. 4 times 1 half. 4 times 1 half. This will be, you can divide this one. 4 divided by 2 is 2. This will be 2. Then 2 times 1 is 2. This will be 2. Next one, 2 times 1 half, so 2 times 1 half, you can divide this one, 2 divided by 2 is 1, so this will be 1, and then 1 times 1 is 1. So 1, and then we're almost done. So 1 times 1 half, 1 times 1 half, this will be, so we cannot reduce, so understood that there's 1 here, 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 2 is 2, so 1 half. And then the last one, 1 half times 1 half, let's check if we get 1 fourth. 1 half times 1 half, that's 1, then 2 times 2 is 4. Correct, so our answer is correct. This will be the answer class, 4, 2, 1, and 1 half. So that's how you answer class if the given examples are like, are like this. So you try to answer number 4 class, insert 3 geometric means between 1 and 81. So you put your answer in the comment section down below, let's check. If you really understand this one. Alright, so once again, our next video will be quite complicated. This one, given samples or fractions and how we deal with this one. Alright, so once again, if you learned something new today, do not forget to follow, like, and share, 
and you can follow our YouTube channel also. I will just put the link in the description down below. With regards to the second example, I will also put the link in the description down below on how to answer this one if the given samples are fractions. Once again, this is Teacher MJ, and you have a great day. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.